Welcome to English 1301. Um, this is our course site. I, I wanted to give you a quick tour on how to navigate it uh, in case this was the first time you've taken an online class or uh, and just kind of show you how to quickly navigate through the site. Um, you'll probably log into the start here area. Uh, this gives you a little information. I'm welcoming you to class. Uh, I invite you to introduce yourself to class so we can get to know each other a little better and your fellow students can get to know you a little better. Um, and a few quick technology tips. Uh, we don't use a lot of complicated technology in this class, but uh, this, this will help out. There's also a link here to a file that gives you some tips on um, uh, how to succeed at any online class. And I certainly want you to look those over because uh, it's really good advice. Uh, the next tab down is announcements. That's probably where I'll put this, uh, this video and, and other videos. Um, uh, as I feel like they may be needed that will help keep everybody focused on their writing assignments. Um, <clears throat> the uh, My Alerts tab, uh, I don't use this one that much, but some students really swear by it. It gives you a list of anything new I've added to the course site that you may not have seen um, or looked at yet. Um, it keeps track of some due dates. Um, don't rely on this app entirely, just uh, but it, it might be a good quick reference. Um, here's the syllabus and schedule. Let me go over it kind of quickly, or a few things on the syllabus. Certainly uh, come here and read it carefully yourself. Um, here's the course. It's 100% online, so you don't have to come on campus to take any uh, assessments. Uh, this is how you can get a hold of me. We've got uh, the student learning outcomes. Let me go over those kind of quickly. Uh, demonstrate a knowledge of individual and collaborative research process. Uh, about 40% of this class is emphasizing the writing process. Uh, we will do a, a little work uh, where you're collaborating with your fellow students on, on some of the discussion or essays that we're, we're looking at. Um, and you'll do some in, in independent work. The idea is to get enough brainstorming and enough ideas down on paper so that composing the essay itself becomes much easier. You've done all the brain work uh, and a little drafting as well uh, prior to sitting down at your word processor and, and putting it all together. Um, you'll, be, you'll be developing these sources, uh, assign, um, integrating these sources into the flow of your discussion, um, fairly uh, accrediting uh, or giving the uh, other source um, uh, credit for what, it, what it's com adding to your discussion. And we'll discuss that quite a bit as well. Um, you need to format your essay in a way that's uh, uh, appealing to the audience, your intended audience. Your intended audience is an academic audience, it's not just me. Um, and there are strategies for doing that in some accepted styles. Um, I'm emphasizing um, the modern language association style, MLA style. Um, other styles will be permitted uh, that are more appropriate for people who are majoring in psychology or uh, some other subject area. We'll be focusing primarily on MLA. Um, let's see. I, usually what distinguishes good writing from just so-so writing is this critical thinking component. Do you have something really interesting to say? Something of value that you're uh, uh, providing to your audience? Uh, so I, I want you to take enough time to uh, write and think thought uh, about the topics that you'll be discussing. Uh, find some way of making it interesting and appealing to your audience. Uh, of course, you you need to write with uh, good grammar, and uh, we'll uh, uh, you've got a good handbook that helps you with that, as well with the uh, the citation information. Um, when I uh, comment on your essays, I think you need to pay attention to say comma splices or or, or some grammatical mistake that keeps the reoccurring. Uh, it's an easy, quick reference to pull out your. Um, uh, LD handbook and, and uh, look it over. Here are your textbooks. Uh, the reader is where we'll 
get a lot of our inspiration from our for our essays, and the handbook is uh, something you want to hang on to through your whole academic career. It'll give you uh, tips on how to write your essays. And, uh, so hang on to that. Um, I'll skim through some of this. Here's a calendar. Uh, it's also that other link. It's the same thing. It just has the calendar. Uh, hang on to this. You might make a copy and put it in your textbook. It's a, it'll let you know exactly what you should be reading and when you should be reading it. Uh, notice uh, you've got a reading assignment for this first week. It'll, in bold, it, it mentions some uh, due dates that are, are coming up. So um, stay on top of that. Whoops. Is there anything else I wanted to draw attention to? Uh, the grades. Scanning too fast. There we go. Here we go. Um, notice there's a, a good chunk of your grade comes from these pre writing assignments. Um, I'm hoping. Uh, Hard work here will make uh, the essays themselves uh, much easier to write and of higher quality. Uh, but that's, that's the final draft of your essay is half your course grade. And then we have something at the end called a meta-writing assignment. Uh, in the English department we call it our, our lab assignment. I'm using it to uh, give you an opportunity to reflect back on each of your essays and uh, tell me what you think some of it, your strengths were, some of your weaknesses, uh, what you'll do uh, perhaps to improve in, in whatever area that you yourself identify as, as needing improvement. Um, what makes this a lab component um, is that I'm, I'm asking you to use uh, some technology uh, that I think will be helpful not only in this class but in other classes. It's called um, Evernote. Um, it's a platform. Uh, it's free access. All you need is an email account, and it'll allow you to save notes that you take. Um, it has a lot of neat features that integrate with some of your other applications if you want to use them that way. Um, but I'm, I'm asking you to do this one note-taking assignment, answer a few questions, and what it allows you to do is share that information with others by generating a URL address, essentially you can publish it to a, a private audience. You'll create a URL address in this Evernote platform, and I'll, sh I'll have an instructional video on how to do that. And uh, upload a, a link uh, for me, and I'll, I'll uh, review it and grade it. And you need to read these, but I, I don't think I'll spend any more time on that. Oh, I, I did want to mention. Um, we have a pretty strict policy on due dates. Um, uh, if you think you're going to be late on turning in an assignment, uh, it's very important for you to send me a message explaining the situation. Um, if you wait till after the due date to explain the situation, uh, you may not uh, be receiving a grade for it. But if you alert me ahead of time, I'm, I'm usually uh, uh, open to uh, an understanding of circumstances that arise, but that's kind of important. Uh, this is just the schedule that you that was in the syllabus. It's identical. It's just a easier one to print off here. Units and lessons. I think this is where uh, you would go to kind of naturally to begin work every time you log in. Uh, if you'll click units and lessons, you'll notice that there's um, five units. Uh, in each unit, we'll be writing an essay, a short essay. The length will be about three pages worth of content and a works cited page, so a total of four pages. Um, and the assignments within each unit um, uh, help build towards that, that polished writing assignment, that essay that you're writing. Let me click on Unit 1 to get started. This is a, a quick little survey I want you to take. Uh, it's just got one question on it. I, I kind of want to know uh, from the class what interests you about writing, what, um, why you want to take this class, other than it just being a requirement, uh, which is certainly a good reason. Um, here are the discussions. Um, notice after you do the reading assignments, uh, our class discussions in our uh, discussion board area, you can click here and it'll go straight to it. Um, 
will be over these two topics. Um, I'd, I'd like you to answer this uh, in your own words on the, on the discussion board and as other people respond, um, perhaps uh, providing some feedback to them as well. Uh, this class discussion um, on this content will perhaps help you in your next essay. Um, might be a source that you integrate. Um, and then the journals area would be the next step. Um, your journals are shared between um, you and, and, and me. I can see it, but the rest of the class cannot. Um, so you've got some public writing here and some private writing here. Uh, you, you'll be answering these same five questions um, about each of these uh, three articles and um, in your journal area. And you can click right here to go to the journal area or you can click over here. Take um, this is the assignment drop off for the essay. Um, uh, it'll take you to this Evernote, uh, no, I'm sorry, not Evernote, uh, turnitin.com website. Actually, when you click on it, you're still in our website, but this interface right here connects to that site. Here's some information about the assignment. Um, I've give you a, a couple of topics to choose from. Uh, I think part of, they're, they're kind of open-ended, so you can choose a more focused approach to your essay. Uh, and I want you to use at least one of the sources in our reading assignments uh, to help enrich your discussion of that. You'll set up your essays in MLA style, which is you know, double-spaced, uh, one-inch margins, uh, that kind of thing. But you'll also document your your sources uh, following MLA style. This is explained in, in pretty good detail in your handbook, your LB handbook. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that by the time you're out of this class, uh, you finished your fifth essay, you're fairly 